Hello and welcome to the Fixed Land, and welcome to Brogue. As the name suggests, this is a roguelike game that was developed by a single person, Brian Walker by name. Um, when I first heard about the game, I, I came across it uh, on YouTube, actually. He gave a talk... Um, at an event called Roguelike Celebration uh, five or six years ago, I think. And very articulate, interesting person, um, interesting talk. I'll link it down below in case you want to watch it. It's about half an hour long, and he talks a bit about the development of this game, which is based on Rogue, as you could have guessed. Um, as you may know if you've uh, hung around my channel long enough. I have played some NetHack and really enjoy that game, and this is quite similar to that, which is also similar to Rogue. Um, but th this one has some enhancements. I've only played for maybe 15 minutes um, or so, just to get my, make sure I could get my feet wet a little bit before we start recording here. Um, and it seems like a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to jumping in with you, and thanks for joining me. And I thought it might be fun to enjoy a nice malt beverage, fermented malt beverage, while we play. And if you want to uh, enjoy a beverage yourself, please feel free to do so while you watch. Uh, it, can be, it can be a malt beverage or just a nice glass of tap water, whatever you prefer. So let's get this open and poured. All right, I think I gotta swing myself around here to pour the beer. Just bear with me. This may take a couple goes, it's, it's foaming up pretty well. All right. All right, that'll have to do for the moment. <laughs> uh, so what we're having is a Centennial IPA from Founders Brewery. A fine ale, if I do say so myself. So I'll just set the can aside, and of course I'm enjoying it out of my Art of Manliness class which I got for my birthday a year or two ago. I was going to say pint glass, but it's not actually a pint glass. It doesn't hold 16 ounces, it holds 12, uh, but it is a pint-like glass. So it's a pint-like as we play our roguelike. All right, we'll let the foam settle a bit there and we'll go ahead and get started. Enough with the introductions, right? Okay, so we can start a new game. Hello and welcome, adventurer, to the dungeons of doom. Retrieve the amulet. Retrieve the amulet of Yendor from the twenty-sixth floor to escape with it. Press question mark for help at any time. Now, first of all, if you haven't uh, tried this one, you'll notice that there's there's color. <laughs> Uh, so there are, I think there are some um, some visual enhancements to a game, like um, from a game like NetHack, and I think some some uh, quality of life enhancements as well. Uh, I'm, I think you can see my me moving my mouse pointer around here. You can move it over any tile, uh, any non-blank tile, and. Um, You'll see down at the bottom, there's some flavor text, like right now it reads, you see a stone wall, because I'm hovering over this, this hashtag here, these, um, we used to call them pound signs, uh, these pink uh, hashtags are the stone wall. Uh, these green quote marks are grass-like fungus, as you can see, and this, the dots are just the ground. Uh, here's some shallow water. So this is us, 
this yellow at sign, as you probably knew already. And so this is everything that's in our view. We can identify everything we can see, which makes sense, stands to reason, right? Um, and then these uh, are wooden doors. These three are doors, and of course up here is an open passageway, and that's as far as we can see, uh, because that's as, uh, where our sight line ends. And then up here in the top left, we've got uh, the at sign is us, and we're lit currently, we're not in shadow. Our health bar is full, it's all blue, so it's full. Nutrition is full, so those we have to monitor. Strength of 12, armor of 3, stealth range of 14 tiles. And up at the top, the text will, this will sort of be the play-by-play -play as we engage enemies and get attacked and whatnot. That, that, that text will be up here across the top. So... Without further ado, I'm using the number pad to move. Um, actually, a little more ado. <laughs> You'll see down at the bottom we have a few commands. Explore, rest, search, menu, and inventory. So let's just take a look at our inventory. At the moment we've got a plus zero dagger, leather armor, some food, and 15 darts. With room for 22 more items. And... Looks like we can top up our beer now, so let's go ahead and do that. I am starting to get thirsty, so... Gotta get every last drop, don't I? Okay, cheers. Here's to ya. Thanks for watching. Alright. So you really don't need a timeline down at the bottom of the video you can just watch the the liquid level go down as the video progresses and once we reach the bottom of the glass the video is over okay all right that was our inventory <clears throat> we can also search s for search and i think that consumes something like five term turns so I'm going to press it now, and you can watch in the upper left what happens. So you saw that sort of magenta or red bar count off a few turns as I searched, and we found nothing, though. All right, <clears throat> let's advance, shall we? Uh, why don't we... <clears throat> excuse me. Let's head over this way. Let's go through this door. Start in this corner. All right, and then these... Uh, these are dense foliage. These uh, looks like an Aries sign, but it's it's a tree or a, it's foliage. And here we have a cobalt. So if I hover over it, like I'm doing now, uh, we get some description about him there in the center. Uh, he's got a 50% 50 50 chance to hit us. These are basically the cannon fodder of the game. So not too much of a challenge even at this early stage and we can see up here what he's doing he's hunting uh he could be sleeping but at the moment he is alert and he sees us so we'll just maybe we'll just let him approach us and then we'll attack him he got in a a hit there all right, we took a little bit of a hit, but nothing too bad. You can see the floor is splattered with blood here. Okay. Let's keep going this way. Oh, and here. Um, so if there's an item or uh, an enemy in view, you can see on the upper left, uh, it gives a little a name and some description of each one. So this is a scroll entitled Blato Flingana. Well, that sounds worthwhile, so we'll go ahead and pick it up. I think we've got auto pickup, so if we uh, step on anything that can be picked up, we will pick it up. So we'll just keep on, keep auto pickup on until uh, we decide we don't want it on anymore. All right, let's head this way. Some more foliage. 
All right, dead end apparently. Let's let's search, shall we? We find nothing. Okay, and the game does um, apparently get progressively harder as you continue down levels. Probably no surprise. Uh, let's back up here. There's a kobold. Is he gonna come this way? Yep. All right, he's dead. Some more foliage. A sleeping rat. And some gold pieces. Some are, oh. Okay, and all this, this uh, blue stuff that looks like water is water. So it's shallow there at the edges and then it gets murky. And there are, there are uh, eels in the water. There can be eels. I've encountered them in the short time that I've already played. So that's something to be aware of. Um, so we have a stealth range, and it seems like once we... He's, the rat is sleeping now, but I think once we get close enough, he'll wake up. Maybe, unless we get lucky. We could throw a dart at it. Uh, but let's just see if we can... Oh, he's still asleep, so we'll just dispatch the rat in its sleep. Excellent. All right, let's go through this door here. Why don't we search? I assume there are secret doors like there are in NetHack. Um, I haven't found any yet, but we'll just figure it out as we go along, eh? All right, let's head down this way. Uh, you can see down in the bottom, this area is cloaked in shadows, perhaps a safe place to hide. So it's a nice little hint. Okay, here we have a scroll entitled Herba Herba Glorpgana. We'll take it. Um, and then here, the these pink things are bloodwort stalks. And I did discover in my last, when I played, that these um, produce a cloud of healing gas. So that can be handy to have. Um, and here's the downward staircase to the next level, the next level down. Um, but let's let's see if we can see what else there is to find before we exit this level, shall we? All right, let's head up here and we'll grab this scroll untitled Irma Glofurba. Irma Glofurba. All right, we've gotten a few scrolls. Let's take our check our inventory. Three scrolls, okay, great. All right, so we can step into the water. The water is cold and reaches your knees. We can take another step in, still at our knees. Now if we take another step in, we might start to lose some things in our inventory. Yeah, some food floats away in the current. So we're gonna step right back and pick up that food. And that's as far as we're going to go in the water. Although, maybe we'll go through this door here. Oh, how deep does it get? How deep? Because we want that gold. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, we got the gold. Um, let's go down this way, maybe. Oh, mm, boy, it's starting to get deep. Let's Let's head back, shall we? Yeah, I think we're going to go. Now, I suppose if we had a scroll, I mean, if we were able to levitate, we could levitate over the water. And I'm sure we will do that at some point. But at the moment, why don't we just keep on keep on going? It's, it's, it's early days. Okay, we've got a rat coming after us. Got the gold. Let the rat approach us and whack a rat. All right, why don't we search? Now, when it says um, you finish searching the area, I don't know what it, what how area is defined. That I don't know, but we'll figure it out as we go. Cheers. Okay. <clears throat> All 
All right, this is all water. So it's still knee high this far, but um, maybe we can. Oh, what is it? Jackal. <laughs> okay, we're fighting a jackal all of a sudden. That's what happens if you try to move too quickly, I guess. <clears throat> we'll head through this foliage filled passageway. Oh, what's this? A flail. Uh, and I think that's 17 after uh, the name is the weight. So we now have, have we now have a flail. Um, why don't we try equipping the flail? Let's see what happens if we do that. Okay. The spiked iron ball can be whirled at the end of its chain in synchronicity with your movement, allowing you a free attack whenever moving between two spaces that are adjacent to an enemy. The flail carries a penalty of negative 12.5 because of your inadequate strength. It will reveal its secrets if you defeat 20 enemies with it. My gosh. Wielding the flail, assuming it has no hidden properties, will decrease your current accuracy by 55%, but will increase damage by 49. Um, so I think... So how I read that is we're really not strong enough to effectively use the flail at this point. Um... So I guess we'll just, let's just stick with the dagger at the moment. Uh, I was reading the only way to increase your strength is to uh, I think to become enchanted, like uh, get a scroll or a potion of strength, something like that. Um, in Brian Walker's talk, he was he was explaining that one difference between this, between Brogue and, uh, lots of RPGs, for example, is that there, Brogue doesn't have character classes. The way you create a different characters is just by picking up items. That's the way you advance your characters is by the items that you collect and that you choose to use. So, um, Oops, we just killed a rat. <laughs> it was unaware. I was unaware that it was there until it was dead. There's another rat. Uh, why don't we go ahead and defeat it? All right, we haven't been this way yet. And do let me know in the comments how how this looks visually with the the beer over here and everything. Uh, this is just a, a blame silly idea. Uh, I value your opinion, so tell me what you think. All right, kill a kobold, we kill a rat, and we're feeling good. Okay, why don't we search the area? Find nothing, so I think we can head for the exit. Oh, there's a rat. He bit us. All right. We'll head for the exit. Except we can't go that way. <laughs> All right, I gotta chart out my path a little more intelligently. Can't go that way either. <laughs> All right. This, how are we going to, we're going to go up here, over this way, and then down this way. Can I, if I click here, will it actually go? Oh, it does. Huh. That was fast. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> um, it must stop if you run into an enemy, I would assume. All right, let's search. Nothing. There we go. Okay. A scroll entitled Nert Pusnuglo. Nert Pusnuglo. 
But first, a jackal. Now a scroll. And search, and nothing. Search. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> a flying sleeping bolt. Bolt, bloat. A sleeping goblin conjurer, and a scroll entitled Puskered Pora. <laughs> Puskered Pora. <laughs> I had a Puskered Pora on my face the other night. It was really painful. Let's see if we can... dart these enemies to death. Uh, let's see here. Yikes. All right, he sounds dangerous. What about the bloat? <laughs> A bladder of deadly gas. No comment. Um, okay, why don't we start with the goblin conjurer? Just because. Um, just just because. So inventory. C for darts, and we're going to throw, and we're going to throw, uh, yes, at the Goblin Conjurer, and throw. Okay, we hit him, and he gestures ominously. That's not good. Why don't we throw? Okay, so we hit him for 30% um, damage. So that's, that's not too bad, I guess. Um, let's do another one. Throw. Dart. There. Oh dear. Um, okay, he's conjured his spectral blades. Okay. Here he comes, and here come the spe spectral blades. Um, okay, I don't know. Should we run? Can we attack the spectral blades? Why don't we, let's throw one more dart, maybe. Sure, let's try it. Um, throw, dart. Uh, okay, and he's charging at us. So I don't know if we, I think if we throw at where he is now, by the time the dart reaches that spot, he will be, he won't be at that spot. I think. So let's, well, I'm just going to cancel that. I'm going to run. <laughs> the specter blade nicks you. Yeah. Um, let's, let's run back down the hallway. Uh, okay. The right on our tail, those blades. Can we actually, well, there are four of them chasing us. Can we dart the spectral blades? There's a question. Throw dart here. Okay, the dart destroyed the spectral blade. The spectral blade nicks you, so it must be the next one in line. Let's try it, let's do the next, the next one. Dart. All right. So we're taking a little 4% hits. Um, how about if I whack at it? Okay, yes. And he's just going to keep throwing them, isn't he? Or conjuring them. Um, hmm. How about running? <laughs> nope, they're faster than me. So we're just going to... Okay. I took care of that volley, and here comes the next volley. So I think we're going to run, if we can. Will they follow us? They sure will. All right. Now if we can find some shadow, we can hide. Let's see. 
ground. Sunlight, that's not what we want. I guess we have to run, <laughs> keep running. Okay, we have two scrolls named Herba, Herba, Glorp, Gana. Okay, here comes a rat. Another dead rat. Okay, now here, what, what we have before us is a chasm. All of these dark quadruple dots are uh, a large chasm, and this is the, the very brink along here. Um, and this... Uh, not a diamond, I guess it's a square on its side, <laughs> is a caustic gas trap, and so it's probably not something we want to step on, is it? I think if we move toward it, it'll ask us if we want to, yeah, step on the pressure plate, no, thank you. Dive into the depths, oh right, that's the chasm, <laughs> no, thanks for asking, <laughs> appreciate that, um, all right, I don't know if we can... Oh, we can go up here, but we're surrounded by a chasm, so... So I guess we have to go back... This is chasm too, right? Yeah, okay, so we don't have a choice at this point. We'll step back out into the hallway, hoping that the spectral blades have forgotten about us. I'm going to have to start drinking faster. This video is going to be way too long. All right, the goblin and the bloat are still after us. Rats. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Another chasm. All right, well, let's just soldier on and see what happens. All right, so we're basically walking along a, an elevated passage over a chasm. Um, let's head up here and see what there is. Another bloat. There he is. Let's throw a dart at this bloat just to the west of us. Um, let's see what happens. Throw, dart, at bloat. The dart hit the bloat. Uh, how many darts do we have, anyway, left? I got ten. Let's, let's try another one. We, I, I think you can pick them up again after you've used them, at least in some cases. So throw... Dart at bloat. Kapow. The, bo the, <laughs> the bloat bursts, leaving behind an expanding cloud of caustic gas. I should have known that would happen. He's dead, but we're surrounded by this cloud, which is going to morph and expand as we move, as time passes. So... All we can do is run as we feel the purple gas eating at our flesh. So we're just going to head back out. Oh, and it's sneaking through that passageway too. And here comes a monkey. Here comes a monkey. And they'll, they'll take our things. They will, they will steal from us. Um... I don't know what this is. Oh, a marble statue. Okay. And there's a locked iron door. And the blue potion up there. So I think we can try darting, throwing darts at the monkey. Or maybe he'll come through the, the gas. Let's rest and see what he does. Oh, he's running away. 
He's running away. Maybe he's scared of the gas. Okay. And we should be too, probably. Let's just see if we can wait it out. Okay, so there's another bloat coming to the east there. So we're just, I'm just hitting a Z for rest here. So that bloat's kind of going back and forth and the goblin is coming. Now he's receding. Oh, he's wandering. It's, it tells me right over here, wandering. Okay. Um, I'm just waiting for that gas to dissipate. I think it's almost dissipated. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Although it's still, it's still filling that passageway there. So we'll have to come back for that scroll. Oh my, an opal ring. Very tempting. And a eucalyptus staff. Ooh. But why is the floor... It's a carpet. Huh, how interesting. It's carpeted. The cold marble statue has weathered the years with grace. And we can't get around it. Here comes the bloat. Um, all right, let's see if we can dispatch this bloat before it gets too close to us, because I don't want another one exploding uh, at an inopportune time. So throw, dart. The dart kills the bloat and it bursts. So let's run away from this gas. So can we get into the carpeted room? So we either need to, I guess we need to move the statue somehow or get around it. Oh, wow. An opal ring and a eucalyptus staff. Boy, oh boy, those, those sound really worthwhile. Oh, and we, we remember seeing a scale mail right here. Um, and here's a locked iron door, so if we can find a key, maybe we can get in there. Boy, oh boy. Um... Well, we don't have a key yet, so... <clears throat> and we don't know what... What any of our, the scrolls do. So I, I think we either have to just use them and find out that way, or uh, find a way to identify them. So let's grab this blue potion. We'll search. Uh, why don't we go up here? Maybe there's a key just waiting for us to pick up. <laughs> I see your nutrition's getting down. Okay, there's the way down. Let's search. Goblin. Okay. All right, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Shoot. All right, he's almost dead. Oh, okay, so when we kill him, his spectral blades disappear. That's good. That is good. All right, I think there was a jackal down here, was there not? Yes. Take care of that. Okay. Here comes the goblin. He's not giving up, is he? Uh, all right, we're just gonna go for melee. Let's just, we're all in, we're all in. 
There we go. Did I search over here? Oh, here comes a monkey. All right. We're going to throw a dart at the monkey. Dart. But we're going to throw it at the tile in front of him, assuming that he'll be there by the time the dart arrives. So throw. Uh, and I guess it missed. I don't know. Let's, let's just uh, rest a turn. Huh. Maybe it missed. I don't know. Let's just let it get a little closer. All right, let's try this again. Throw, dart, right there. That doesn't seem to be working. Uh, okay, well, why don't I throw it at the tile that he is occupying now? Throw. Okay, that did hit him. Let's do that again. Throw, dart. It missed, and we're going to whack at him. He stole a scroll, and he's running away with our things. Throw. Sorry, throw, dart, throw, dart at monkey, and he's dead. Okay, great. Pick up three darts, pick up four darts, pick up our scroll, and five. Oh, no, um, I guess that was one dart at a time. All right, we got our darts at least. All right, so this brings us around this way. Let's just see what's over here. What's this minus sign? A key! We have a key! Oh no. <laughs> we have a door key. But the altar retracts into the ground with a grinding sound. You hear a deep rumbling noise as the floor begins to collapse. Like the floor beneath us? What altar? What floor? <laughs> Are we gonna die? Um... I don't know. Okay, let's take a step forward. I'm not... Is it this floor? It is! It's this! Oh no! Do you see what's happening? The floor is collapsing into the chasm. So we can't go... We won't be able to go back the way we came. And I probably shouldn't stand on the brink of the chasm, right? Uh, let's just wait a few turns and see what happens. It's all collapsing. I'm just going to keep resting. I'm going to move back, move back, move back. <laughs> Flee. We're just, it's going to like collapse around us and we're going to... You see what's happening here, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm sure you can see what's going on here. Um, I think our only hope for survival, oh, wow, we've got a key, but we can't get over here. Um, boy, this calls for a drink. Um, well, it seems like the choices are either death or try one of our potions and hope that it's a levitation potion or something that will, yeah, we can, we can't, oh boy. All right. Potions or scrolls. Well, let's just try the blue potion, I guess. Uh, we will go ahead and drink it. Apply. You float in the air. It must have been a potion of levitation. Perfect. All right. That was lucky. <laughs> 
Did somebody... Okay, so now we're floating above the chasm. And, and you can see the red bar in the upper left corner showing us how long we are allowed to levitate. Well, this was... This was a happy chance now, wasn't it? Wow. From the brink of death. What? <laughs> You search your pack, but do not have a matching key. Are you telling me the key that we picked up isn't the right one? Uh, what door might it open? This door, please. Rats, I was... Well... I guess it's not going to hold your hand, huh? Just because you find a key doesn't mean it'll work in the one locked door. All right, we're still levitating. Can we make use of the levitation? Can we levitate over the statue? No. Uh, is there any other way to get in that room while levitating? Apparently not. Um, can we just, let's just levitate out over the chasm one more time. <laughs> just for grins. This is fun. I feel like I'm flying. Okay. Um, let's see if we can throw a dart at this monkey. Throw dart at monkey. Throw dart at monkey. Throw dart at monkey. Throw dart at monkey. And whack the monkey. Okay. All right, why don't we? face up to the jackal here. All right, dead jackal. Okay. Um, okay, why don't we... Um, I think there was uh, an area... that we weren't able to completely investigate because the bloat had exploded, so. Let's go back there. Up here, right? Yeah. Search, nothing, okay. Well, we've got a key, which is better than no key, I guess. So let's just head for the exit and uh, I think the game can actually be saved, which I appreciate, so probably have to wrap it up soon here, so let me take another drink. So let us head downstairs. Right away we have a scroll entitled Ganaglorprama. Ganaglorprama. Go through the door. Oh, a big area of water. Another glorp, glorp, flim, fl uh, flim, flin. <laughs> the, these scroll names make it make it sound like I've been drinking beer. Okay, a jackal, dead jackal. Um, Search, nothing, all right. There are some things way on the other side of the water, but I think we'll have to go around another way. 
But since we're here, let's pop up here. Nidgerbanert scroll. Oh no, a monkey. Ah. <laughs> You're not escaping with our stuff. Oh no, you don't. Ah, there he goes. <laughs> Fleeing, yes, he's fleeing. Um, all right, throw a dart. Yeah, it hit him, but he's... Throw dart. Okay, got him. We'll have to eat pretty soon here. We're getting, our nutrition's getting down. All right, let's search. Nothing... Here comes a jackal. Fast moving, too. Dead jackal. Go down this way, in this way. All right, I wonder if we can wade in and get that lavender potion. Yes, we can. You are hungry. Okay, let's come out here and eat. Uh... Inventory, some food. <laughs> Was it left by former adventurers? Is it a curious byproduct of the subterranean ecosystem? You may never know. You are hungry enough to enjoy a full ration of food. Okay, apply. That food tasted delicious. That's good. All right. A rat, a rat, a dead rat, and a sleeping rat right down here, which we will kill. Grab a crimson potion. Okay, this area happens to be cloaked in shadows, so a good place to hide if we need so to do. All right, uh, there's a tiny little room here. This is interesting, an interesting level. Nert Pisnuglu. We just have a ton of scrolls, don't we? And I have no idea what any of them are. All right, we're gonna have to wrap it up here. I'm trespassing on your time. The rats waiting in the water. Maybe we can follow its path. Cobalt. Dead cobalt. Some gold. And this is an interesting color. Sort of a... Oh, a cloud of explosive gas. Um, hmm. Probably something we want to avoid, huh? Is it moving? Doesn't seem to be changing shape. Kill this rat. Huh, okay. Cheers. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, this is a good place to bring it to a close because the beer is gone. Let me know down in the comments how you like the video and uh, what you think of the game, what you think of the concept, and uh, what you were imbibing during the video. Thanks very much for joining me. I do appreciate your company, your comments, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.